welcome to today's textile talk. I'm Lucy Shaken, SACWA's communications coordinator and your textile talks organizer. Textile talks are presented by the International Quilt Museum, Quilt Alliance, Studio Art Quilt Associates, or SACWA, and Surface Design Association. We love bringing you these free programs every week, thanks to the support of our sponsors and contributions from viewers like you. If you enjoy textile talks, please consider making a donation at sakwa.com slash TT support. And if you would like to be on textile talks, we are currently accepting proposals for our 2024 season. If you're a fiber artist, researcher, or curator with a story to tell, we would love to hear from you. That info is at sakwa.com slash calls. This weekend, Sakwa is hosting a virtual conference called Art in Place. For the first time, we're making our conference available to everyone, not just SACWA members. If you enjoy textile talks, I know that you will love this program. Our keynote speaker is the phenomenal Carolyn Crump, and we'll have presentations from artists all over the world, like Yoko Sakita, a Japanese artist who makes incredibly detailed storytelling quilts. It takes place July 14th and 15th, that's this Friday and Saturday, and everything will be recorded and available for three months afterwards, so you can watch anywhere and at your own pace please sign up to join us at sakwa.com slash art in place. And I will put all of those links in the chat for you in just a minute. A few Zoom notes before we begin. This is a webinar, so we can't see or hear you, but we can read your comments in the chat. Today's program was pre-recorded so that we could provide English captions. If you're watching on a small screen, you may want to switch to a larger one so that the captions are easy to read. If you have questions during today's program, please type them into the Q&A function. And Melissa Ralstad and Emily Schlemowitz from the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts will answer any questions as we go. If you have suggestions for ways we can improve or for topics that you'd like to see in future textile talks, please let us know in the post-event survey. So now I'm very pleased to welcome Melissa Ralstad from the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts to tell you a little bit about today's topic. Following that, we'll watch the recording of Akiko Ike discussing her work. So Melissa, hello, thank you for being here and please take it away. Hi, I'm very happy to be here. Um, so before we dive into the recording that we did with Akiko while she was visiting the mu museum during the installation week, I'd like to take a few minutes to introduce the artist and how we developed this collaboration. Um, Akike, uh, Kiko Ike is a renowned textile artist, teacher and gallery owner from Niigata, Japan. At the age of 60, she began creating unusual stitched pieces using humble remnants of indigo dyed cloth and old work clothes, giving these and other used and tattered textiles from her environment new life. Uh, she transforms the found cloth by stitching with a strong thread in a manner she calls Chiku Chiku. So Chiku Chiku, um, so this is a Kiko. Um, Chiku Chiku is an onomatopoeic word that a, Ike has coined to describe the sound her broad needle makes as it runs in, into and out of cloth. Now, nearly 20 years later, she has amassed a significant collection of vintage textiles laced with her own thread in her characteristic running stitch. The exhibition, which you're viewing here um, at the museum, is Ike's first ever solo exhibition in North America. In 2019, um, she exhibited her koi um, at the museum on an in, in exhibition on fiber art and water, and we began a conversation with her about hosting her for a solo show. Uh, in this current exhibition, you can see 10 of her koi works on display. The exhibition includes approximately 100 works by Akiko Ike. The title, Boro Chiku Chiku, combines the Japanese word for something that is tattered or falling apart, boro, with Akiko's stitching, stitching technique. In textiles, Japanese boro is widely known as vintage, usually prior to 1980, and mainly made between 1850 and 1950. Uh, clothing or household materials such as bedding that is of cotton or linen fabric, these fabrics are often patched and mended many times over for longer use. Ike considers her interpretation of boro in a broader sense and includes leftover fabric scraps of all kinds in her work, including these advertising banners. So without further ado, 
um, I would like to introduce Akiko Ike and Takaka Wilden, um, who will be doing the translating for us and who was instrumental in bringing Akiko's work to the attention of the museum and helping us to organize this incredible exhibition. So thank you very much, Takako. <laughs> um, I would also like to acknowledge the Japan Foundation New York, who further supported the exhibition through generous funding. So with that, Lucy, I will turn things back over to you. And as Lucy mentioned, um, if you've got questions, please post them in the Q&A. All right, thank you, Melissa. Thank you so much for joining us. My name is Melissa Ralstead. I am the Executive Director at the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts. And I am delighted to be joined today by exhibiting artist Akiko Ike. The exhibition Akiko Ike Boro Chiku Chiku is currently up at the museum through August 27th. We are very grateful to the Studio Art Quilt Associates for inviting us to participate in the Zoom conversation today and the Japan Foundation New York who helped sponsor the exhibition. Thank you also to our translator and dear friend of the museum, Takako Wilden, um, who is with us right now but will be stepping off camera. She will be providing all of the translations today. So with that, um, Akiko, uh, please tell us about your background. Do you have personal or family connections to sewing? から考えてみると祖母母おばみんな周りに張り仕事をしてる人があの私の子供の頃はそういう時代でしたね家族がね女性は特にね女性が張り仕事をしてるのが身近に from there, what daily rituals do you participate in? Where do you make your work? そうですね。毎日はまあ、あのあれですけども、曜日週にね、月曜日と火曜日は田舎の家に行ってほとんど。草取りをしたり枝払いをしたり何かその家の周りのような整備のようなことをしてます水曜日はフリータイムにしてあと木金土と町の方にギャラリーを持ってますのでお店を持ってますのでそこの店で過ごしています and I know we have some photos of the farm. Do you want to show us some of the photos and talk about a little bit what um, what's in some of those images and what you're doing in some of those photos?間に合わないぐらい草が生えたり、木が伸び放題になったりしてますから、ほとんどこうやって草取りをしたり、はしごに登って枝を切ったり、あとちょっとあのお花を植えたり、整備をしてます。一人でやるのではなくて、あのスタ
大きなタコを取ってきてあの鍋で煮ていたのそれはお鍋ですかお鍋です元はであのそんな大きい鍋もう最近取れなくなってきて、うん、いらなくなって手放す人がいっぱいで捨てちゃうのねそれをいただいてそこにスイレンのおい池っていうか花を咲かせたいなと思って今やってるところではこれは枝にあの枝払いをしてますね2メートルぐらいのはしごに登って木の枝がみんなかか絡み合ってかけね This is about two meter high. で下にいっぱい落としてこれは枝をね落として日当たりをよくしてやって<笑>これは昨日の展示ですね。So this is, um, we were at the museum and trying to put the exhibition items up. And she's up on the ladder again.、Mm-hmm. また端っこに登ってらっしゃいます。Which she climbed right, you climbed right up there to help with that. 去年端っこから落ちたんです。<笑>すぐ登りましたね。骨折はしませんでした。She didn't break her bones. <笑> that was good. Well, and obviously you're not afraid to climb the ladders yet. <笑>でもあの端っこを登るのは怖くないです、ね。怖くないです。She's not afraid. でもね、やっぱり年のせいか体が硬くなって。思ったほどやっぱりスムーズに動きませんね。これは<笑>これはねあのブロックっていうかおあの道作りをしてるところ。This is on her farm house property. This is what I'm hoping. これね山ぶどうを植えてあるの。ちょっと last year. 去年はダメだったけど。近くにワイナリーのお友達がいて。手入れをみんなしてくもらっててほらここずっとブドウが山ブドウこれがあの納屋っていうかあの農作業小屋昔のそこをあの片付けてみんなで集まれるように。And this is the space where、um, she has you know,、um, gatherings and in workshops. わ地域のイベントに参加して。これは納屋の前です。納屋の前っていうか、うん、まあ、これが納屋だからね。はい、年に二回ね、イベントがあるんです。ところが、あの、この三年間コロナで。中止されていたので、久しぶり、三年ぶりの、はい。まあ、地域のお祭り。みたいなね、イベントだわね。え、イベントはど、どん、どん、ここでは何を。あのねまあ、自分たちの好きなことがやれるんだけどもあのこの地域ね割とあのアーティストが陶芸する人とか染め物ガラス細工とか何かあのアーティストが割とあい,いっぱいいらっしゃる集まってる地域なのでそれぞれねお得意のことをするんですけど私はあの。手打ちの日本そばをそれがすごい人気なもんだからやったりあとガレージセールをやったりあと手作りあの手作りの作家さんの作品を集めたりまあその時によって違いますけども大体そんなことをしてます割と遠いところからも東京とか、えーとまあ、山形佐賀はも,もちろんだけどいろんな地域から私は割とそういうところにお友達が多いもんだから、チクチクつながりのね、お友達が多いもんだから、そういう人たちがまた来てくれて、あのチクチクをしたりもします。これはお店の中ですね。So this is her shop, うん the gallery, um, plus みんなでチクチクを。あの割と決めてやるんじゃなくて自分のしたいことをやってるっていうかお得意分野というか、so usually when people gather, 同じことやってるんじゃなくて they bring their own projects that they would like to work on and then they just sit around and work on them、うん、これはねあの小さい糸,糸を切るハサミのカバーをねあの前は
上手な人に作っていただいてたんだけどそれよりもなんか私が作った方がとぼけてて面白いらしくてこっちが人気がある。でハサミのケースはねもう割とあの自分で全部作るようにしています。これ楽しいんですよカラフルで。They're just you know, very whimsical looking and then people love those. あこれはあのお店の前です。This is the storefront, the gallery front. It's facing the、um, main street. This is another photo of the storefront. の昔の,あの新潟でも昔の町屋なもんであの細長いお店なわけ。The, the way the architecture was Um, 70年、yeah, about 70, 80 years ago in Niigata, the houses, the storefront,、yeah. the, the in front of the house was narrow. And then, then、um, the depth of the living space went from the front to the back. So it was narrow and skinny to the back. 昔は堀ここ前が細い道と堀で、あの大きい品の川から船でみんなあの町なんかがねつながっていたから今はあの堀は全部埋められて道路になってますよね。So、the, the were,、うん um, 名前だけ堀っていうのは残ってます。Yes, so the moat is still you know, it still existed in the address, but they were all、um, made it into streets now. これもお店の中にそうです、お店の、まあ、外だね。So、the, 玄関というか。So、the one on the right side is the,、um, the front of the store,、uh, the gallery. And これはこれ,中にあるこれ、外です、これは。これも,外です、ねうん、これもみんな、今回持ってきてますけども、外に時々変えて。So、the photo on the left,、um, those are the items that are hanging. At the store. So I think those were displayed at, outside of the store. But some of those banners are part of the exhibit,、um, current exhibit at the museum. Yeah, another photo. Now this is inside. わりとねあの作家さんとかあの全国的にあの好きなお友達の作家さんからあの作品ができるとあの見せていただいて展示させてもらってそういうあの売ってもいるんですもちろんそうです。これは,これは何ポジャギじゃないけどまあこんなのをまた作る方もいらっしゃるので。Now, with this, what is the, I mean, this piece and the flags are hanging at the museum. So, what's the meaning behind the, the carp? こいのぼりについて少し説明していただけえー、と私はこいのぼりはあのやっぱりボロの中に入ってきたというかねあのこいのぼりってあの外に飾るでしょうそれでねあの空,空ってかあの高いところに上げてこう風に泳がせるのであ,のあんまり上等なあのなんていうの立派な生地というかそういうので作ってはダメなんですやっぱ軽くて風を受けやすくてということはボロになる確率が高いだから古いこいのぼりって本当はあんまりないんですで私特に一番最初に来たこいのぼりがあの昨日ほらここに飾っていただくときにちょっと無理かなって
お話ししましたけどももうなんていうのとろとろしてもろ,もろくなってるのね。So, um, the carp, they are used as streamers、um, traditionally in Japan to celebrate the Children's Day. 今だと田舎でもはナイロンとか化学品みたいになってあの残って泳がせている,いるところもあると思いますけど、まあ、都会ではほとんど見られません。今はほら、子供の日になって、女の子も男の子も、まあね。You mentioned that they're mostly nylon, or they were nylon. What did you use to make this one? これはみんな木綿です。木綿に手書きしたり、染めたり。片染めっていうのもあるし、いろいろありますよね。今はどんどんプリントというか。Now with a,、um, it's usually、ナイロンにね。ナイロンにね。だから丈夫だし、軽いし、色は汗せないし、ボロにもなりませんね。But they're light and durable and they will never become ボロ。I also imagine they wouldn't be as beautiful as this one is, though. She has some in her possession that the old carp. Um, items that are in cotton that, that, that were just preserved, that, that just got old. So you know, they came into her possession and then she was able to stitch them. あれが多いのね。So these banners that are hanging behind the carp, they are advertisements that were used in olden days. And so they were also displayed、um, standing up on a stick, and then they were also, you know, in the sun and in the wind. So they were exposed to the,、um, you know, nature. あのこれはやっぱりで、ね。いろいろ文句あの書いてあることを見ると面白いもんだからあの集めたって言われもあるんです。ただどんなことが書いてありますか。そうですね。面白,すうん、面白いのは真ん中にあるこのこれこれですけど子供のあの本屋さん、ね、の雑誌屋さんあと蚊や、うん、あの蚊、so、取り線香。<笑> This one in the middle with a red writing on like a grayish bluish background, they were advertising children's、um, magazines, but you know, they're like educational magazines. And then they, so the one on the, これ左のがかいあこれはあこれ青いのですね。So the one in the navy blue is kaya or the mosquito net. And then left that is, um, Katori Senko, which is、um, <laughs> like a mosquito repellent incense. So, one, one on the、um, second from the left, and then, then also the green one, second one from the right, they, all, they both advertise the rubber boots. So, they were used for.、Um, Used by the farmers. 
that work in the field. あと、いろいろね、浴衣とか、着物ね、着物ね。いや、浴衣、あの、下着だわね。まあ、いろんなのがありますね。なんてちょっとバラエティ。あとこういう商品だけじゃなくて、おや、あの、おやすりとか、
、うん、<笑> 70年から80年前の話か朝はほら北の方で寒いところでも取れますのでタイまで自家用に作って、うん、あの自分で折って仕立てて自分の家で作ったようなかやもあの時々手に入ります。これはなんかこのしましまなのはこれはどういうんでしょうか。うん、これはねあのやっぱりあのそれこれは佐渡から出たかやなあの佐渡のかやだって言って私が手に入ったものなんですけども藍染めと普通のかやねきなりの色を組み合わせてこれもきっとあのかややかやのおみお店に注文して作らせたものだと思いますお金持ちの人が。うん So, this is a close up of one of the pieces. And, ここにしいのがあるのは、これは何でしょうそれはね、穴が開いていました。So, you see the little patch on the left side,、um, that's, a, that's a white square, and there was a hole. 穴の開いてたいるところは、補修しながら、これは、かやを2枚合わせて、あの白い糸で刺しています。このね、ぼかしが綺麗ですよね。あの、藍染めと染めてないところと。で、同じ糸で縫ってあっても、ちょっと表情が変わったり、縫い目がまた綺麗に見えるのね。ただ、チクチクしてるだけなんだけども、もう全然表情が変わるのね、刺すとね。で、色も綺麗に見えてくるし、何かやっぱり、なんていうの、針とその糸と土台の、あれが一致するとすごく美しくなりますよね。うん、これはあの、うん、白白い糸ですか。白い糸です。白い糸で塗ったのもあります。This is the close up。これはこれクローズアップですね。You can see some the um so these are mosquito nets and you can see the stitches。まっすぐ塗ってるつもりなんですけども、<笑>あっちに行ったりこっちに行ったり。大きくなったり小さくなったりでもそれが面白いと思うのねこれは今ディスプレイしてあるそうですね,ですねあそこにディスプレイし,してありますね写真ではちょっとわからないけどもこの上の方は刺してない、うん、この下は刺してある So this whole indigo piece is actually one piece of b o r o fabric and the bottom part maybe two you know like three fourth up On the bottom, they, they were all stitched. And then that indigo part that's showing,、um, hopefully, you can see that the fabric is wider because it's not stitched yet. So, Akiko wanted to show you how the、um, chiku chiku stitch will shrink the fabric in width,、um, but it would also、um, make the fabrics stronger. ののそう、私たちは、そのボロを。The indigo section, the, the darker part, did not have holes. So that tells you that the in, indigo part you know, really protected the fabric. で穴がポチポチと開くんだけど、えー、木綿でも開くのかしらと思ってねいろいろ考えて刺しながら考えてみたらこの藍染めのところは糸が丈夫なの、ね、白いところは糸が弱いそれできっとそのポチポチと白いところだけ穴が開いたんだなっていうのが私の結論で私はやっぱりそういうことをねあのチクチクしながら発見できる、考えられる、そういうことがまたあのずっとチクチクをしてくるね、つながってきた理由の一つにもなりますね。あのかすりだけじゃなくてね、藍染めをしてある白地に藍で
染めてある片染めとかいろいろありますよねやっぱり白いところから切れてきます日に当ててたりする。So this piece of fabric that you're looking at is kasuri、um, 当ててない。But、um, also even the like the,、um, the shibori or the 片染め diapers that you saw in previous photo she noticed that the white part you know deteriorates faster than the indigo、um, part これはこれは何かの,あの着物の裏,裏生地にみんな繕ってあった普段着だと思うねこれ着物の裏,裏なんか中,中、うん、表じゃなくて裏あんまりその繕い方が綺麗なのでやっぱりそこそれだけを裏だけに刺してみたあじゃあこの濃い色のところはこれがもう作ろうやって作ろい So the mending was already done onto this、um, wrong side of the kimono and she thought that was just really beautiful so just kept that mending Um, design as is and it just stitched over on them. Kimono no omote ji wa atarashi mono tsukatte mo, yapari ura wa, ma, mi, 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 これはさっきのアヤンですね。アヤンですね。So this is still part of the exhibit, and then you you can see the kaya or the mosquito net work on the right side. でこっちこちらの左の真ん中と左の方にあるのは何でしょうか？これはこれはあのカヤの上にあの小さい歯切れをいっぱいくっつけながら刺して。はい、見ました。So、the one in the larger, larger piece in the middle with lots of colors, she took a mosquito netting as a background piece and then she used little scraps of boro and then just stitched directly onto them. これは何でしょうね。これはね、あのあれです。あのほら、着物の帯。Mm -hmm. あの日本人は着物って帯を締めて生活してましたから。あの普段のあのよそ行きの立派なものはしっかりした芯が入っていてとっても刺せないんです。だけど普段着のは水もくぐっているし柔らかくなっていますのでまあ刺せるからやっぱりこう布を置きながら刺してみました。So、the display on the bottom side,、um, you see that on the platform, they're all OB、um, lining. The, the, the everyday OB was used, and then it's, it's more supple than the formal kind where it's stiffer. So she used the lining and then put little pieces of a bottle and then, then stitched along. So they're actually very, very long. So, 表生地表生地は割と綺麗でほら立派だから利用されるのねなんだけれどその真実のはもう本当に使い道がない表生地はもうなかったんですか私はその芯だけを私どこに来ましたのでその中から選んで柔らかそうなのに刺しましたでこの両端の大きいのはあの着物の普段着のみたいこれはあの半幅って細くて農作業したりそういう時に使った細い幅の細い帯ねこういうのはあと上に飾ってあるのはあの敷物とか何に使ったんでしょうねやっぱりそういうものでボロボロになっていたものを刺して補強してやってみました。でこの赤い布でポンと補修してあるでしょ。というのは私はできるだけこれは私がやりましたよっていうつもりでちょっと赤いのとか全然この
他のはみんなほらな馴染んだ色合いであるんだけどそういうふうにしてあの分かるようにというか。まあ、昔の人とコラボしたいというかそういうような感じであのわざと赤とか派手な色で補修してありますうちの玄関マットはこういうのを使ってます、so、this is the up close. だから全体は昔のままですけどこの辺は私が、うんはい、ましたあのつくつく次当てしたというか。So, so the cloth came as is,、um, the, like the length and the width, but you can see her、um, adding fabric, you know, where it's like red or other little squares. And it's just a bit of a little 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 bit of カラフルな糸で刺してみたり、あの、yeah. お友達に染め物をやる人がいるもんだから、あの、し白い糸しかないんですよ。私がこれ選んだ糸は。なんですけども、染めていただいて。何か、あの、カラフルな色で、他に好きな色はありますかやっぱり、赤とか、藍色とか。これもさっきのですね。Yeah. I think this is like a little up close with that colorful n o t e to go on the chin. It's up close. So, you have to be a little bit of 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 a わりと新しいものいろいろ私あの使い残しのはぎれみたいのいっぱい持っていますのでそれをもうランダムに並べて昨日赴くままに白い糸で刺したあのこういう切れはあの周りを処理してきれいにこうなんていうの折り込んだり
なくなるね寸前まで使えるっていうのをまあ丸めてポイッと捨ててしまうのも私は自分の気持ちに反するのでなんとか残したいなと思ってあの糸の力を借りながら刺してみたらそれが結構面白くて。So this is some close work of the... この真珠が見えてますよね。So in, on the top、um, of the screen, you can see the inside of the,、um, the obi sash leaning. And so they're rolled up because it, it's very long for the display, but yeah, you can still get a visual for that. This is a little close up. This is the other part of the exhibit. あとこれが普段のかやかな日常で使ってた。So, um, so the, the,、um, the work that's in the middle, it's, it's like a two tone、um, color with a brown and also greenish. Yeah. Oh, so th that, that is the、um, kaya or the mosquito net. In, That, that, was, that was the color commonly used. And she used、um, red thread and stitched them. So the, the red, red work on the left is、um, sakyori weaving, where the boro cotton fabric was、um, cut up in, you know, like in, in ribbon like thread. And then they were woven into. With a thicker material, and people use them as rugs, or they made them into a kimono, like a coat jacket, so that、um, you know you could keep yourself really warm in the winter.、Um, the red and an orange, the, the white, yeah, those patch、um, pieces that you see were、um, where the holes were. So, just, あの後ろにも布を当ててそれでこれやってそうでそうしないとも持たない。So there were holes. So she used、um, like a backing, the、um, backing fabric and then, then also those colorful ones on the top and then she stitched them because they were really falling apart.、うん、so this is the close up. The sakyori weaving. ねえ。So, this was、um, from Sado Island. This is a little bit of 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 a l i t t So, they, they, these designs go along with the carp. So, these are the close up. And there, these are more banners. The Kintaro san. So, Kintaro on the left is a, is a character that's in a Like folk tales, and then it was very、um, smart and then strong. And then he could a kuma 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 kana, but also more small. She says, What a hatani, umani not the nogar, the show, arega, ano, umani matagari, oma no keko, the joba was the. It was said that you know, he wrestled the bear and then won. And... And then there's another piece that he, he's riding on a horse, and so he, he was just a very skillful, you know, good, good little boy. So this is a close up of the Kintaro face、うん、on the left. So she, she made this for her grandchild when she, he was a eight year old. She said that.、Um, That carp was too big for him to receive. <laughs> 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 so the one in the, the one in the middle is、mm. Shoki. And this is what this was a Taoist、um, god figure, but he, he、um, 
you know, wards off the evil spirits. これは故意ですよね。上りの一部だと思います。The, the one on the right is not a full view, but it's a, it's a carp that's just going upstream, which is also like a good luck. And then,、um, you know, ああ、これが。Oh, so th- this is the one,、um, Kintaro, that little boy on the horse. And he's, he's practicing right in the horse. That brings the end. Before we wrap up, though, I'd love to hear more about the crane that's actually behind you.、Um, so, I know, I'm not sure why 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 I'm not sure でも私のところに来た時はもうあちこちボロボロであの欠けてる部分もあってでもこれだけ大きかったのねでも私刺してるうちに思ったんですけどもこれ鶴ってあの日本ではおめでたい鳥であのこういうものによくあるんですよね鶴と亀っていうセットで。So th- this is a bird, it's a crane and this In Japan, this,、um, the cr- crane brings you good luck. And we,、um, Akiko thinks that this was part of the, like, the stage curtain, and it's only the portion of it. And crane and then also turtle, you know, they go together. So the blue,、um, the line that you can see in the background. Is the sun rising? で多分この下にあの水の波があるからきっとあの亀がいたんだと思うのね。And then, as you can see,、um, the below the crane, there's a blue、um, color, so that, which probably depicts water. So Akiko thinks that there was a turtle as part of the design. これ全部でもっと三倍か四倍ぐらい。まあ、まあ、二、二三倍はあったと思いますね。四倍ぐらいあったのかね。So this is only the portion of the,、um, the you know, the theater curtain that。本当に丸まってね、ボロになってね、あちこち傷だら,だらけだし、私が足したところもある。So when she acquired this, you know, it was just really falling apart and not. Was not very in good condition, but she added lots of、um, mending, you know, scrap pieces over it, and then, then she stitched them over. So originally it was probably three or four times bigger than this. Wow, and it's, it, I mean, it's beautiful, and the stitching is beautiful. Thank you so much for sharing with us today. I、um, encourage you to check out、uh, the museum's website, wiquotemuseum.com.、Um, please follow Akiko on Instagram as well.、Uh, Takako, if you want to pull up that last slide,、um, like screen share that last slide again. And thank you so much to、uh, Sakwa for giving us the opportunity today. Thank you all for joining us today、uh, for this textile talk. It was such a treat for me to learn more about Akiko's work and a little bit about her life.、Um, and please do visit wiquiltmuseum.com to see more of the exhibition. Thank you so much to Akiko, to Kako, and the Wisconsin Museum of Quilts and Fiber Arts for working with us on today's presentation. We'll be back again next week at the same time, same place for a conversation with Libs Elliott presented by the Quilt Alliance. As always, you can find all the details at sakwa.com slash textile talks. And if you enjoy textile talks, we would love it if you would tell a friend,、uh, post about us on social media, or consider supporting us financially with a donation at sakwa.com slash TT support. And I hope you all have a fantastic Wednesday, and we'll see you next week. Thanks for watching.